What's up guys, Joycon94 today, showing you guys how to set up a PS2 emulator on your computer. So this is pretty fucking awesome, you can play old PS2 games, pretty much all of them, like there's an extremely high amount, there's 40,000, or 4,073 different PS2 games you can play. It's pretty fucking awesome. So, let's get this started. First of all, this laptop has 16 gigs of RAM, a 1 terabyte hard drive, um, hybrid hard drive, and uh, 8, or Intel. 4600 graphics card, I believe. Now, you don't need that high of specs. Pretty much any Windows 7 or higher laptop will do with these 4 gigs of RAM, I would guess. But I don't know. You can Google around. Maybe I'll put the, excuse me, the specs in the description. So, let's get started. You're going to go to emulator section. Go down. Choose PS2. Now, I already downloaded this because I tried to make this video and I was stuttering and mixing things up and I want to remake it so anyways let's continue we're gonna go to Windows and choose this one and just click here and download it and I already downloaded it so I'm not gonna do it again as you can see I already have a game in, um, downloading which we'll get to that in a second but from here you're gonna go to the other link in the description by the way this MU Paradise link will be in the description the, uh, well actually I'll just put the home page in there and I'll put the BIOS link in there um, Go to this link and download it again. You can see it's there. I already downloaded it once. That's why this is a one because I've had it on my desktop for a while because I've done this before. But anyways, download it. Um, and yeah, we'll continue. Now this link um, from Mediafire came from another YouTuber. I'll put his link in the description. But anyways, you're gonna want to open this up, and you can minimize that for now. You're gonna want to create a folder on your desktop called PS2, or you can honestly make this folder wherever the fuck you want. It doesn't matter folder ps2 okay then you want to extract everything in here into that folder all right from here you can close out this uh winzip you don't need that here's your bios folder and what you want to do is go into here and i'll snap this here and snap that here now this is your ps2 control or um folder you just created before you do anything, just take this BIOS folder and simply extract it into there. Now, from there, you won't have to do anything with dick and rock configurations. You can close that out, you're done with that. Then just open the PS2X thing. It'll say this, it'll say OK. Leave all this shit default. But we'll go in here, you can figure this stuff after. For BIOS, you can leave it default because it's going to go to the desktop PS2 BIOS. So that's it. Just say OK. Oh, sorry. One more step. From here, you're going to click on where it says USA or, you know, Europe, wherever you are. But I'm assuming most likely you're going to be in USA. I honestly only know to do this one if you're in USA. If you're in Europe, I guess you would do the 2004 one. Um, yeah, do the 2004 one. But if you're in USA, um, just choose this one right here. Hit apply. Okay. All right. So now your um, emulator is completely set up. You can close this folder. Next thing you want to do is... Um, do one of your games, but you can see I have these ones on my desktop already. Which basically all you do is like once it's done, I'll open it and I'll extract the file onto my desktop. In fact, here we have a Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. All you do is click this here and extract it to your desktop, which I'm not going to do because I already have it there. No need to extract it twice. So once you have the file on your desktop, and again, you can make a folder called Games, it doesn't really matter. Um, you're going to go to ISO selector, hit browse, um, go to desktop, and then just choose your game. Say OK. Now we're going to set up our controllers. Now to be honest, I do not know how to set this up with a, um, you know, with a keyboard. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I'm just not sure of how to do it. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it with a controller. Well, I'm using a wired Xbox controller. You can get these for really cheap. Um, at you know Amazon and Amazon at Walmart game stores whatever you can buy a used one doesn't matter so basically oh actually and I'm gonna add light I know how to set this up for um, a keyboard so say you want the squared button to be letter S tap you click on square and then tap the letter S on your keyboard it's the exact same thing with the controller so square for an Xbox controller would be the X button Y is triangle circle is B and cross is A and basically, you just have to convert whatever, like L1, for example, is LB on an Xbox controller. 
L2 is LT and L3 is pushing the left thumbstick in. And basically you just go through and do this. So I'm not going to verbally say every single one. I'm just going to go through and do it. That's another thing. In the other video, I already fucked up. Alright, let's click this one and delete it. So back should be select. Start. Start. The last video I forgot to do select and start, so I had to go back in here and dick with it. And again, you'll just go through these. If you don't know what a PS2 controller is, it looks like, just Google it. Now with the thumbsticks, you want to be a little bit sensitive um, with it when you do it, because otherwise you might, um, like it might not read right. Alright, so that should be all good. Um, oh, decent. There's a turbo feature. I didn't even realize that, but we're not going to take with any of that. Maybe I can find another video or make another video about that some other time. So just hit apply. Okay. So now you're completely ready. All you're going to do is go to fast boot or full, whatever one you want to do. And give me a second. Let's, uh, oops. Let's do this. Open volume mixer. Oh, I already muted it. Okay, so obviously you don't have to mute yours. So from here, you know, just hit X or whatever. Go through it, and that's it. You're completely ready. Now you just play the game like it's on a PS2. You make it full screen. Um, if you have a laptop that can support HDMI, you can plug an HDMI cable and hook it up to your TV. And then you can play on your TV just like you would in uh, a PS2. It's pretty fucking awesome. It saves your progress. Now I'm pissed because I already got pretty far in this game, and... Um, fucked up because I deleted everything to make this video so I can do it from scratch so not that we're gonna deal though this game is pretty easy I've only had difficulty with one or two missions I think um but yeah that's it guys so um I hope you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time Joey Kong 94 out